Who am I speaking with here? I'm Wesley Chen. I am with Developer Relations at Google. And you're giving two talks on uh, Google App Engine and Python, correct? That's correct. And they're intro, but uh, you were just saying before that there are some basic concerns with uh, Python, and, and what are those? Ah, well, Python 2 has actually been very popular. Uh, it's been around for a decade now. Uh, but we are at a crossroads. We are moving to the next generation, which is Python 3. Um, that's come out a couple of years ago. And uh, one of the issues that users do have uh, or are concerned with is that uh, it's backwards incompatible with Python 2. So I've been giving talks lately, um, not at Code Camp this time, but uh, at a variety of conferences where you know I just tell everybody, hey, you know, it's nothing to be worried about. It's not like the changes are so big that you can't recognize a language anymore. So one example is print. Okay, it used to be a statement, but in Python 3 it's a function. All you need to do is put a pair of parentheses there, but that's enough to break it. You know, break your uh, existing code. So uh, so some people are concerned about that, but there are tools and migration techniques that we have that uh, kind of mitigate what some of those uh, problems may be. So for example. There's a tool that uh, you can uh, get with Python when you download it called 2 to 3, and that will take a Python 2 source code and it will convert it to uh, equivalent one in Python 3. So, you know, little things like that uh, are helping out with the migration. So, right now we're just waiting for like everybody to kind of like move their apps over and uh, all the frameworks moved over, all the networking uh, stuff and the database adapters. Once all of the lower level stuff has been migrated to Python 3, then we're going to find that Python 3 is really going to pick up in the marketplace. All right, excellent. Now you were complaining about something about Google App Engine, correct? What was it? Uh, yeah, so one of the kind of... Oh, by the way, identify yourself. Yeah, my name is Kevin Nilsson uh, here in Silicon Valley. run the Java user group, the JavaScript meetup, and the Google user group. And uh, one of the kind of issues that I have with uh, App Engine is it doesn't allow you to use uh, naked domains, uh, such as mydomain.com. Instead, you have to use www.mydomain.com. And uh, Google really hasn't provided any solution for this or any recommended partners or, or any other way um, to get around that. So everybody's off kind of figuring out their own solution, finding another server to redirect back into App Engine. But I wish there was something that uh, there's a little more guidance in that area. All right, Naked Domains, what's your reaction to it? Sure, that's uh, been a long, uh, long running request from users for quite a while. Um, the tricky thing is that uh, you know we have uh, you know we're we're managing all of the domain stuff ourselves right now, and uh, there's a lot of like Google front end security issues and things like that that have to go through multiple teams uh, at the company to actually make this happen. So you know working pretty hard on it. Uh, you know hopefully we'll have some solution that users will be happy with uh, moving forward. But uh, at this time I can't give any kind of a timeline on it. All right, so you recognize the problem and you're working on it, right? Exactly. Uh, right. So far, we've actually been very happy with the adoption of Google App Engine as a uh, platform as a service uh, cloud solution to host your apps with. Uh, it's a really great service because traditionally, if you have an exciting app in your head that you want to build and host, you have to you know, think about a LAMP stack. You have to think, OK, what ver version of Linux do I need to run, Debian, Ubuntu, which version? And then you have to go get an Apache server. You have to set up MySQL. Um, and then you have to pick a language to, to implement, most likely PHP or something like that. So it's, it's, a, it's a problem where, because these things are orthogonal completely to the app that you're trying to write, your idea plus all of this infrastructure stuff don't really have any kind of relationship to each other. So the solution that App Engine is trying to give you is you just worry about the app, you upload it to Google and we run it for you. And we scale it on the same systems that run the entire company. 